why are these restaurants no social distancing, no mask, no gloves, and here they are handing us this food, whether we have gloves on or not. And uh, we get stuck with other gig appers and, and we're right next to each other. Um, there's no place to be because they want you right in a certain spot. And we all just stand there and wait. And it's like, I just want to be all the way across the restaurant. Uh, customers are coming through doors, walking by you. And where they could touch your shoulder. It's like, ugh. You know? And you got to stand around and wait. Because for some reason, if they can't get their act together, you get this food rolling. And they don't have any indoor business. So why is it they have eight employees and they can't make a cold sandwich? Really? I get these orders... In the past, from this this crappy place of McAllister's, and um, uh, they they had this half sandwich thing with a, a little cup of soup that's like four ounces of soup in a cup and a half of a sandwich, really, or a little croissant sandwich, really. And you can't have that sucker ready before I got there. Now, bear in mind, sometimes DoorDash calls an order in just a few minutes before they send it to you. Sometimes that does happen, but not all the time. But by God, it takes seven to eight minutes in a full dinner house to prepare a meal. Whether it's to go or it hits that table. I know I've been in the bar and restaurant business for a lot of years. Uh, since I was underage even. Um, owned them, run them, and worked them. I know. From scratch, a meal. Seven to eight minutes. Ask any chef. They'll tell you that too. Uh, even these microwave artists, oh my gosh, at Firehouse, like, everything's microwaved. And, um, I couldn't believe it the other day, it, 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 it took the girl seven minutes just to squeeze the macaroni and cheese out with a special tool to get every drop of sauce out of this little tiny packet into a cup. And I had to stand there and wait for that. That food was not ready, and, it, and they were so slow Three people working, and they were just slower than mud. And I'm like, really? Like, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm sitting there just like, you know, you better hurry because my timer's on. Once that sucker hit 10 minutes, I'm clocking that order out. I don't care. Send another driver because I'm done. I can be somewhere else taking another order because they're flying right now. They are flying the to-go orders. The to-go business is incredible right now. Between the internet and to-go, it's flying. That's where the money's at. So, this is a grave concern, especially for our health. And, and, and um, I mean, it's a life and death matter. When you got, I, I went into this uh, mom and pop barbecue place. I like the people. They're very friendly and very nice. And 90% of the time, that food is ready when you walk in the door. It's a little tiny place. Um, but they, they have a sign on the door. We don't require masks and they let people all sit together and, um, uh, they got all these big wooden booths they built through the restaurant. None of the employees, not in the kitchen or on the front end are wearing masks or gloves. And I'm standing there going, Oh my gosh. And then they're going to hand me this food. And it's like, Oh, and it's just scary. I mean, their customers are coming through the front door. They're walking right by you. So they can get in line and order at this one little place. And I was in there the other day and there was like 12 people coming in the door. Looked like it was a family party or something. And they weren't giving a damn that I was standing there. It was like I was invisible. And I'm like, mother of God, why are we not social distancing? And I got no place to go unless I walk back to the kitchen. <laughs> um, which I'm sure they would be reporting me for that. But that's another serious concern. So let me tell you how we do this. Because DoorDash drivers are the best drivers. That's a fact. There's only a few slumpers, but they'll be gone in time. It doesn't take long to get rid of them. That's why the ratings bite and everything else. My ratings are great. They are excellent. And um, because I do what I'm supposed to do. I report problems before anything else, before anybody would try to report me or anything. I report those problems to DoorDash, whether it be text, email, which they call support ticket, or calling them. I don't like to call them, and I don't like to answer their calls because it's usually when I'm working, and I don't have time for that because I lose a bunch of orders, and it screws me all up because 
you know, or I have to pause or something. And I don't like that because I'm losing money. Don't do this to me while I'm trying to make some money, you know. Um, first of all, report them to duty. Now, on the unhappy and happy face thing at the end of an order, try to get in there and go unhappy face. And then write down on that bottom part, click off everything you need to click off. Always click off low base pay. But um, go to that bottom, bottom thing and click on that and then lift it up a little bit so you can see while you're typing or talking into your phone and make a statement about these people weren't wearing masks. There was no social distancing, you know, because that's proof to Didi they need to notify the restaurant, especially if it's a signature store where they pay 30% of every meal we take out of there um, to Didi. Uh, it's their job to talk to the restaurant and say, look, we can't send our dashers in there if you don't have some protection. You know, so what do you want to do? Do you want to have protection or no dashers? And everybody's desperate for that money, so you know they're going to have to make a change or forget it. Because DoorDash isn't going to deal with it. Really, they aren't. So make sure to report on that, that unhappy face. Also, you can send a support ticket which is on the, the 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 app when you go in there on the question mark thing. Um, you send it under other and type out a little thing there and ship it to them and they'll respond to it. And if they don't respond good to it, send it again. I've done that where I send it three times till you get the right rep to do something about it because sometimes it's that way. Um, you have two say no and one says yes. Um, and also this DBPR, okay? Department of Business and Professional Regulations. It's online. And it fill out that form and report them because Board of Health and all that other stuff, a lot of that stuff's closed. A lot of the business licensing offices are closed, but these people are open. And they are working right now to stop this. Because everybody's under agreement of what the restrictions and the laws are in order to open a business, especially a food business. Um, and they are forced to comply with it um, to keep everyone from dying and being sick it's the law so make sure to do these two things okay and i mean you do this in the middle of the night three in the morning go online type in dbpr for your state report them um florida's is very strong so if you ever work in the florida area theirs is really tight woven it's it's like direct link man and and it's a simple form to fill out go ahead and fill it out don't be afraid to put your name on there if you want to. Make a fake name, whatever. But uh, do report the business. And report as many times as you need to. Every time you go back in there, it's still like that. Report it again. Because um, that needs to stop. That's not fair to us. I don't want to go in there. Okay? If they want to go maskless and, and no social distancing and seat a bunch of people in the restaurant... And I got to walk through all that mess and stand around and wait till they have the stuff ready or whatever. Um, then I would rather not. You see what I'm saying? It's not worth three bucks to die. It just isn't. It really, really isn't. And until these customers learn how to start tipping for this luxury service, uh, you know, it better be good for me to do that. Because it's not worth me risking my life. I'm safer outside. In the open air than I am inside where this stuff's rolling through their heat and air systems and customers are sick and wandering around. And pe you know, a lot of people don't know they're sick till they get tested or they get fatally ill. And they're wandering around giving this stuff out. You know? So, um, and it's, it's on the major incline right now. This is August of 2020. It is really bad right now. I mean, seriously scary bad. So, um, I'm not a suicidal person, and I know you aren't, and that's why we're out hoofing it to make that buck. You know, I have another job where I'm a district man, but I got laid off back in March. You know, we had to fully shut down, and we're just barely running now. Um, so it's a good thing I've always kept this job for several years, um, and, uh, you know, I mean, they, I, they have high respect for me, which is cool. Um, so I can get a lot of things done, um, and get them done right and straightened out, um, for dashers. But anyway, that's what you got to do. Um, don't put up with, with this, 
this no social distancing no mask and no gloves it's not fair it's not right it's easier to get them pulled off that app or have Diddy contact them and say look we're worried about you know our dashers um, and that means for any company you talk to the gig app you're working for I don't care if it's the Uber Eats Postmates whatever and say look please I value my life what can you do for me you know because these kind of people, I mean, I'm all good. Whatever you want to do, that's your biz. You know, you want to break laws or you want to kill everybody by getting them sick. That's your business. I'd rather not be there. And it's better to have people like this removed off the app. Um, there's one like this in Fort Walton. The Callisters. That's a freaking scary place. I'll tell you there's another one. It's a barbecue place. I'm not going to mention any names because I'm hoping to get that straightened out too. Um, but, uh, uh. That's scary. I mean, but then you have these fine dining restaurants where they will bring it to your car as a dasher and hand it to you. And the girl is wearing gloves and a mask outside. Outside. Yeah. And and I feel sorry for her, but, um, I you know, I have my mask on my neck. So when I see her, I pull my mask up in respect to her, even though we're outside. But, you know, what a luxury deal when they bring it to your car. You know what I mean? So, there you are. But that's how you solve the problem. Um, report them. Report them. Let's get this job done. If they can't comply, let's get them off the app. See what I'm saying? Party's over. It's not worth us risking our lives. It's like we're going into, into war, into battle, like we're enlisted in the military or something and get paid pennies. Really? Um, it's not like we have $300,000 life insurance, you know, because we don't. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your feelings down below. Tell me your experiences. Name cities and states. Name restaurants. Whatever you got to do. Don't be afraid to put it on there. They don't even know who you are. Anybody's reading this stuff. Because, you know, your, your YouTuber name isn't going to match your real name or anything else. So don't worry about that. Speak your piece. Please speak your piece. It's important because restaurants will see this. Restaurant owners and corporates will see this and they will make some adjustments. I promise you. All right. Talk to you later because they don't want to get reported because it's federal offense and they get shut down and fined. Yup. And it can be shut down for life. So if they value their business, they need to straighten it up. Talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great one. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. All right? And may the money tree crash on your stage. And I wish you some really great cash tips. And uh, dash on. Love you.